G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, now we all know that one of the uh, really great features of SharePoint is uh, having the ability to share content, documents, folders with external people or guests. Now, as your content grows and the more you share with external people, it's a really important idea to be able to know and understand what is currently shared and with who um, in your SharePoint site. So there's a little feature that uh, is hidden away that a lot of people uh, don't know about. So if you've got your own site and you're managing this site and you've got people sharing content externally, to get a handle on that and to understand what is shared in the site contents, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, in the site contents, um, under this section here, we've got site usage. Now, you can also get to the site usage from the settings directly from with here. And what we can do down the bottom of this page is we've got the ability to have a look at what content is shared with external users. So it gives you a listing here but you can also run a report, all right? So when we go and run this report, we need to choose a folder where this is going to be, uh, the, the spreadsheet is gonna be uh, as, uh, populated and stored in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna choose this general channel and we'll just save that there. We'll come back to that in just a sec, but what we can see here is we can, we've got a single folder here in this site and, it is, and it's been shared. We can see with the location of that, but what we can also do from this view is we can view the permissions. And on the slide out here, um, you can see here that I've just, uh, it, it lets me know that the sharing report's been created. And let's just jump back into view permissions. View permissions, we've got the ability here to actually change the permissions and manage the access directly from within here. So if we no longer want to share this with this user, we can simply change or remove that access for that external user, all right? Really handy, because we don't have to go at, go then and find, navigate our way through the folder structure. We can just jump into the, the, the shared with external users section here. Now, let's have a look at the report that gets generated. So we pop that in the general channel here, and you can see that there's a spreadsheet that has been created, or a CSV file, should I say, if we open this up here, we can see that we've got a, now a report similar to the one you can generate from your OneDrive for Business. We've got a few columns. We've got the resource path. Um, we've got the item type permissions, the username, email addresses, uh, and uh, of the people that, are, that have got access and have been shared with. Uh, so it's a really great report uh, to run on a regular basis. Um, and you can see there that there's the line there that's, um, that shows me what uh, folder in this case has been shared with this external user, all right? So we can filter, we can sort, we can do whatever we need to do on this report and it gives us uh, ownership and control and visibility over what has been shared um, from our site. So I hope that brings you some value. The site usage section, under site usage, we've got the, um, the the section there where it's shared with external users. We can view it from directly from uh, on the web page, or we can run that report. So I hope that brings you some value um, and gives you more visibility over what is being shared from your site. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.